Okay, it's not every day a billionaire offers you investing advice, so when they For do, free. you better <laughs> listen up. That's right. Ken Fisher is on the Forbes 400 list of richest Americans with a net worth of $3 billion. So Allison Morris had a little chat with him because she's here to tell us how we can all become billionaires as well. We were just talking about this before yeah. uh, we came here. This guy is fascinating. He's one of the most interesting people I've ever interviewed. He's quirky, he's really smart, and he just has unbelievable uh, basic but very, very sound advice. And it goes up to the complicated. We're going to try to keep it a little bit simple here so we don't uh, drive people too nuts. But I had so many questions for Ken Fisher. We talked for nearly an hour. His bottom line is this, however. You have got to blaze your own path if you want to make money on the markets because the crowd is usually wrong. How do you think about the herd mm -hmm. in a way that you can be a true contrarian and game the herd? to your own benefit. A big question billionaire Ken Fisher asks in his 11th book, Beat the Crowd. It's designed to help you cut through the noise and make more money on the markets. For starters, ignore what everyone else has worked up about because it's already priced in. If they're all worrying about it and you can see that in the incoming noise, in volume, go worry about something else because that's where your worry should be. Stop trying to time the markets you won't win. Most investors end up being wrong most of the time. But understand what timing matters most to the markets. Markets really only care about things that are sort of after three months from now and not after 30 months from now. If it's sooner than three months or longer than 30, you filter it out and you say, as it relates to markets, doesn't matter. It's a real simple filtering tool. Politically, there's a lot of gridlock in our country right now, but Fisher says this is a sweet spot for investors. Markets like it when government can't do much in the three to 30 months. And so gridlock for markets is good. More gridlock is better. We haven't had a negative third year of a president's term since the, the later 1930s. All right, so here's a crazy stat from Fisher. The second quarter after a midterm election, that is exactly where we are right now, is positive for the markets 86% of the time. Now couple that with the third year of a president's term. Also right now, we are in a great time to make some money. Fisher gets into some totally fascinating and more complex financial strategies in his book, but he makes them really easy to understand. It is a definite read for anybody who invests their own Show money. The Have it right here. Beat the crowd. Wow. Yeah, really interesting. Some of it's really dense, a little tough to get through, mm. but it's really, I mean, I'm fascinated. I didn't want that interview to end. I know. We're, gonna, we're all going to read the book and try to get a little rich. Yes. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. you.